Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Marksville, Wisconsin. It's a beautiful early morning drive here in Marksville, Wisconsin. We just, uh, well, we just started a farm with $100 to our name. We have got practically no money at all. Like, literally, if I run out of fuel, I, I, I probably don't even have enough to fill up the truck. And we have got a farm that we have just inherited. So we're driving in our old Ford F-350 on over to the farm to check it out and see what condition it is. It sounds like some equipment that, uh, that the uncle had there is still in the area on the farm. And uh, we're not too sure about the condition of the farm, but we're going to check it out here short. As always, if you guys enjoy today's video, then make sure you give it, you give it a big old thumbs up. Uh, over 67% of you guys are not subscribed, so if you want to help a pickle out, then click that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. We're trying to beat Austin to 100k, and I'm pretty sure we can do it. Well, if we can ever get around this slow car, I mean, this is the farm right up here, I do believe. That car was driving me crazy. I should let you guys know that come on are you turn okay we're gonna pull out in front of that guy jeez traffic out here is stupid i should let you guys know that videos this week might be a little sparse but uh this wednesday there should be something cool for you guys to check out i will uh i'll let you know when the time comes but i'm really busy this week so videos just might not uh might not be a whole lot this week so we're here at the farm this is uh this is our uncle's old farm here up in wisconsin and uh it's not you know it's really not too bad this was a pretty decent cattle operation he had going on here as you can see a lot of weeds have overgrown this place hasn't been uh used a whole lot in quite a while all the barns have been pretty much cleared out and uh, there's very little equipment in anything on the farm here. But it is a beautiful farm, and it's now our farm. So we're going to do our best to uh, to get this thing back up and running, to eventually be able to get cattle back in here and all sorts of stuff. Let's, uh, uh, first of all, I see some equipment sitting over here that looks a little interesting, a little dated. I'm seeing a New Holland here, an old New Holland combine, an old case tractor, 7210. Some old wagon, so the header. This planter is actually pretty darn new or nice. That's actually a nice planter. It's a strange brand, but, you know, we'll take it. Uh, we got a little cultivator here. Another combine that looks like it's to completely destroyed out in the weeds. Gravity wagon looks like it might be out of commission. Some parts sitting around. So yeah, that's everything that uh, we have on the farm here to start out with. Now, if you guys are curious, if you select new farmer on Marksville, Wisconsin, this is the exact equipment lineup that it will give you. Uh, as well as this is the, here I'll show you, this is the exact farm that it'll give you right here. I kind of want to roll on back here and see what the, because uh, we own the land all the way to the back. So I kind of want to check all of this out and see what it's like. So let's hop back up in the Ford. Let's go ahead and fire it up. Let's roll on back there and see what this uh, new farm of ours is like. We've got an old wooden fence coming through here. Super cool. Comes across the creek bridge. A concrete creek bid bridge at that. That's actually really, really nice. Let's see if we can open this thing up. There we go. So we got some self-water feeders here. Uh, water feeders, there it is. Boy, oh boy, the weeds have really overgrown out in this pasture, though. I'll tell you that much. All right, well, let's uh, let's roll right on back in here and see where this other bit leads to. So we got a trail sneaking on through here. So let's sneak on onto this and see, do we own this land over here? I think we do. Yeah, I mean, I would say so. It didn't have a lock on it, so it must be ours. So then we roll back into here and we've got another pasture land. Um, I'll just pour up with weeds. It's just weeds, weeds, weeds out here. Looks like I'm seeing some uh, open crop ground over there. Let's not wreck our truck in the field, Jake. Okay, then. So if I'm not mistaken, we got a couple, or really, I guess I could consider it one field, however you want to look at it out here. I'll go back down and uh, check out the last little bit of our farm, and then we're going to get to work here. Although, coming across our fence line, it's not looking too bad. There are a few areas here where you can see the barbed wire fence is kind of a little loose. It's lost its tension. So we can actually just come out here with a, with a crimper. Or with a, we could, it's with a deal that uh, we can pull the barbed wire tighter. It kind of, you get what I mean. I don't know how to explain it, but you kind of uh, pull the barbed wire. You kind of twist it. it. 
if that makes sense. I don't know the best way of describing that to you. Oh, that is that bit there actually broke off? No, no, there's barbed wire there. Ah, for a second, I thought we we're going to have to replace a whole section. As I'm sure most of you guys already know, this map was made by MRG Mapping, who does a fantastic job. If you want to check this map out, then I believe you can find it on Mod Network is where I found it at least. But if not, MRG, just let me know and I will correct that. All right. So first thing is first, we probably should get out and start prepping this seed bed. But first, before we do that, I kind of want to pull up my phone here and check the weather. Looks like it's not going to rain for a long time here. We've got quite a bit of we uh, wind Good drying potential and everything. So if we go ahead and rip up that ground, uh, it definitely won't be too wet. It'll definitely be dried out fairly well for us to plant into. Hopefully not too dry. And then hopefully, hmm, well, it might be a little too early to plant. It's looking kind of cold here. I suppose the first thing I should do is get acquainted with my... Uh, my newly acquired farm here. Now, my uncle, unfortunately, did not take any soil samples, so I suppose we can come in, in here and do some soil samples and try and figure out what kind of soil we're working with here. I'm sure it's going to be a mixture of, of loam to clay. and uh, I don't know if there's going to be a whole lot of sandy, but uh, I'm sure the hillsides will be more clayish. But I suppose uh, we might see if I can call up the co-op rent a piece of equipment here to do our soil testings and then send it on in to, uh, send it on in to the university to get that back. All right, the co-op was kind enough to lease this out to us for a pretty good price. We're gonna, they're putting it on our account so we can pay it off in, in bits, uh, since I don't have the money necessarily to afford it right up front. But we are gonna run back here into our fields and, uh, do some tests. We're gonna grab some samples and then we'll be able to send these samples off to the uh, local university to get it all analyzed and get our results back. I'm gonna say that right there we'll do. We're gonna have a little bit of overlap on the sides and stuff. But we'll make sure that we get it all covered. So now all we have to do is we've got it dropped down to the ground. We can just stick it in. It's gonna dig on down deep gonna grab us a soil sample pull it up and store it in a canister and then we can move on to the next portion of the field over here so, all right guys there we go we've done about half of our land we can see we've done the grass patch in field 13 here we have 12 and 4 yet remaining we will complete those ones later today we got to move on to some other tasks so what we will do is send off these uh test results we took like 30 or so samples we'll send those off right now i'm gonna go ahead and fold this back up drive this thing back and we'll finish that off later today we got half of our field sampled but we're gonna move on to our next task next thing i would love to do is just start to clean up and uh, mow a lot of these weeds down and stuff however i we don't even own a mower at the moment so that is just not going to be able to happen so what we will do is go ahead and just park this thing up right over here where it's kind of out of the way don't wreck it and we'll uh hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. should we turn that soil over again probably should our soil does need to plow now we have a cultivator here i do not have a plow all right so what we've done i called up the co-op again and said hey look can i you guys have a little plow that i can put on a uh a k7210 and and they said well yeah well uh you can lease it from us so we're gonna run down there let's turn on our four ways this is actually our first time firing up this case and it is not too bad at all let's roll on down to the co-op once again we're gonna go pick up this plow come back up here start to plow up our fields and then go on falling out in front of your car and then we will uh we'll be a little bit better off so far this year a lot to do and we just don't have the money or equipment to do it luckily the co-op has been very understanding of our situation and our uh our letting us put it on our on our account to pay off as we go uh, the end of the year once we get harvest done that'll help out a lot so all right we're here at the co-op we're gonna hop out walk back here get the three point all attached get our hydraulics attached up here it looks like we should be good to go all right we've got the plow loaded up 
And uh, let's go ahead and hit the road back to the farm. All right, and we're back at the farm. We're going to roll on to the back and get plowing up these fields. And we'll have to cultivate. And we'll have to do all of the, the classic. What we'll do is hmm, we'll plow. We'll uh, hopefully have our samples back before we go to cultivate. And then we can work in lime or whatever we need to fix our pH levels. We'll get it all figured out. But first things first, we absolutely know that we need to get this plowed. There we go. So we'll just line up right here. We're going to drop the plow down. And there we go. Now we can kind of mark it off here a little bit. We'll be able to plow this up. And uh, we'll get this done. Hopefully this will take us a few hours. We should still have a little bit of sunlight left to, uh, to do some other work around the farm here today. We also got to get fully moved into the farm. That's another thing. The moving truck is supposed to be here in a little bit here in the next anywhere from today till three days from now. So we'll see. But guys, that is going to do it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you're excited for Marksville, Wisconsin survival style series where we don't cheat money, we actually have to earn the money and do the work and we can go bankrupt things can go wrong if you're looking forward to that let me know in the comments down below also let me know by hitting that like button thank you all so much for watching and until next time I'll see y'all later. I'll slice you up like Juzo, Susie, Austin from a bro. Nah, I never heard of ya. You ain't nothing like me. I'm Ken Kanaki while you're just extra number three. Yeah, I'm a pickle. Yeah, I got sick flow flowing so smooth. You just got rip roll. Never gonna give up. Never gonna let down. Never gonna let you pass me back now. My views climbing. Your star dropping. You hop in and ask what's popping. I say nothing.